The San Antonio African American Community Archive and Museum was founded three and a half years ago by George Frederick, a community servant, and National Humanities Award winner Everett Fly. SACAM's mission is to collect, preserve, and share the African American cultural heritage of the San Antonio region. SACAM was originally housed in the Sutton Family Homestead at 430 North Cherry Street, right across from San Antonio's Fire Station No. 1. The Suttons leave a rich legacy. Samuel J. Sutton started the first black public school in Texas, Riverside School right here in San Antonio in 1898. Business owners, educators, politicians, attorneys, and physician, the Suttons leave an incredible legacy across the nation, including G.J. Sutton, the first black Texas legislator, Percy Sutton, Malcolm X's personal attorney, Dr. Carrie Jane Sutton Brooks, one of the first black interns at Freedmen's Hospital in Washington, D.C., and a founder of the San Antonio Pine Street YWCA, Judge Oliver Sutton, San Antonio educator Lillian Sutton, to name a few. The legacy of the Suttons inspired our first digital exhibit, available on our website. We are so excited to move into our new exhibit space at Lavallita Historic Arts Village, just steps from the San Antonio River in downtown San Antonio. A neighboring location in Lavallita is the original home of St. Philip's College. St. Philip's College is the only historically black college and university and Hispanic serving institution in the United States. Come visit us at La Vallita and learn all about San Antonio's black history. The exhibit space at La Vallita will feature two galleries and a museum shop with local artisans work. Come visit us, learn, explore, and have fun while we bring San Antonio's black history to life. New programming offers for 2021 include our film series that will be in the spring and the fall at the Arneson River Theater. The film series is sponsored by Humanities Texas. Also for 2021 is our one hour long Black History River Tour. Join us on the beautiful San Antonio River as we explore San Antonio's Black history as it relates to the heart of the city. Go to our website, sacam.org, and reserve your seat today. Are you staying in these days? Well, don't worry. San Antonio's Black History is just a click away. Our website, sacam.org, is filled with San Antonio Black History. On our website, click Learn to access the drop-down menu. You will find digital exhibits created for mobile or desktop exploration, short histories submitted by the community, View research papers by the Methods of Historical Research class at Texas A&M San Antonio on our website. That class was inspired by SACAM founder Everett Fly. Texas A&M's digital library is also the new home of our archive just recently moved from the University of North Carolina Southern Historical Collection. The archive will be available for online exploration soon. 
We collaborate with St. Mary's University as a part of their public history program and the Trinity University Humanities Collective. Be sure to follow us on social media to stay informed of our upcoming virtual discussions. You can also view past virtual discussions on the SACAM website under Learn. In the summer of 2020, two students from Johnson High School approached SACAM and asked what they could do to make a difference. Out of that conversation, Race Ed was born. Race Ed is our virtual curriculum to have conversations with all ages about social justice. Each month, we explore tough topics for all ages by way of stories, activities, virtual discussions, and more. The topics include stereotyping, historical Eurocentric education, diasporic education, white privilege, systemic racism, cultural celebrations, racial pride and black dignity, allyships. We learn the deep-rooted history of these issues and discover how we can change the course of history and create a more tolerant and inclusive society. The unique thing about SACAM, we are community curated. We involve the community in all aspects of our programming. The community, along with our research team, uncovers buried African-American history throughout the San Antonio region, like this story of the Wilcox Ranch, the last remaining operating ranch in Jake's Colony, Seguin, Texas. The Wilcox Ranch has been operational for over 150 years. SACAM provides community safe spaces to learn about San Antonio's African American history through pop-up exhibits. This is a depiction of a pop-up exhibit at Pittman Sullivan Park, celebrating 100 years of the National Negro League founded by Texan Rube Foster. Engaging children is an integral part of SACAM's programming, like story times across the city or our day camps. We are proud to introduce our children's history guides, Sunny and Sassy. Sunny is a 10 year old boy and the dog's name is Sassy. Sunny and Sassy will take children through a magical journey learning all about San Antonio Black history. As a community archive and museum, it is important for us to engage in the community. Community engagement puts a face with the museum, establish trust, which in turn helps us to grow the San Antonio African American Archive. Here is an example of the work that we can do based on the information that you submit to our archive. These are two stories submitted through our web portal from two different women discussing their experience with segregated San Antonio. One woman is black and one woman is white. African American history crosses all cultures and is American history. Contact us today to record your story, scan your documents and pictures, and let your story be a part of history. San Antonio's Black history runs wide and deep. Examples are Valmo Charles Bellinger, businessman, politician, 
owner of the San Antonio Register, one of the first black newspapers in San Antonio, or Booker T. Washington, who frequented San Antonio to visit his friends, the Suttons. This is a picture of Mr. Washington at a Douglas School program. Also, Myra Davis Hemmings, one of the founders of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Myra Davis Hemmings was also a founder of the local chapter, an actress, a producer, and an accomplished educator. There's Ellis Griffin, born in 1875 to emancipated parents. He had 100 acres just off of Wetmore Road in Thousand Oaks, right here in San Antonio. You can find out more about San Antonio's Black history by looking into our archive, looking at our digital exhibits, or contacting us through our website. Stay connected with SACAM by following us on social media or subscribing to our newsletter. As soon as you open SACAM.org, you will be greeted with a pop-up window asking you to join our newsletter. Become a member of SACAM for as little as $15 a year. Your membership helps us to keep most of our programming free to the public and it supports the work that we do. Membership has its perks, like selected programming and lectures specifically for our membership, receptions, first look at our exhibit space, and more. Become a member today and support your San Antonio African American Community Archive and Museum. If you would like more information or if you have questions about SACAM, feel free to contact us at admin at SACAM.org. Again, admin at SACAM.org. Thank you. And as we write our history together, we will see you in the history books.